student claiming to have been beaten up by several MSU hockey players is now staring at assault charges himself. There's more. 20-year-old Brandon Carmack is also charged with stalking, domestic assault and battery, and making a false report of a felony. Lindsay Veramis is following the story and explains the role reversal. Prosecutors say it's a case of shifting the blame. While Brandon Carmack claims he was stabbed and left with broken ribs and a broken nose, they believe he was the aggressor. It's not uncommon for people who have been involved in criminal activity to try and deflect by misstating facts. It's common. Ingham County Prosecutor Stuart Dunning says the assault happened in late August. According to a personal protection order filed by Carmack's ex-girlfriend, the domestic assault happened the day before. In it, she says she was at a gathering with her roommates, friends, and members of the MSU swim team when Carmack called. She says he was intoxicated and demanded to see her. She goes on to say Carmack barged into the house, grabbed her by the neck, hit, and tried to choke her until some men in the house stepped in. According to court records, Carmack also made threats, telling her he would destroy her reputation. In court, Carmack's attorney said he was surprised by a warrant yesterday. She told the judge there are two sides to every story, but she wouldn't tell us what that story is. Both she and Carmack had no comments. Dunnings wouldn't go into detail on the case, but did praise East Lansing investigators. This was a very messy situation, and they had to diligently interview people and take their time and piece it together regardless of the falsehoods which were being placed in the public domain. Garmack will be back in court Friday for a hearing on the restraining order. In East Lansing, Lindsay Veramis, Fox 47 News. Carmack is free on a $10,000 personal bond. The judge ordered him to have no contact with the alleged victims in this case, and he told the judge that won't be a problem because he's afraid of them. Carmack has no adult record, but his attorney says he does have a juvenile conviction for arson.